Hello, I'm here to talk to you about the self-service portal that we have. I'm on a customer record right now for Alex Stone. You'll see that there is a self-service link over here on the far right. If I go ahead and click on this self-service link, you're going to see that you have the ability to email information to actually invite Alex to the self-service portal for his customer record. You'll see what he can do here. So once you've invited him, if you want to see what he's going to experience, you can go ahead and click on the link over here, which will take you to your self-service portal. Here I'm actually logged in as uh, Alex. You can see I'm logged in as Alex Stone up here. We're going to show him all of his jobs that he's had with you for history. He can filter and show just the jobs that are in progress which means that it has a scheduled on date of right now or uh, in the history in the past uh, and has not been completed yet. That way he can kind of see what's going on. Future, he can see any future appointments that you have and he can also see all of his completed invoices that he's done with you already. So it's a very simple user interface to be able to see uh, any in progress future or completed work. He can also schedule new work. Here they can request a job or they can request uh, you to come out and give an estimate. What they'll simply do is type in uh, need estimate on new sewer line. So here it says we try to honor all appointment requests, however we may contact you for additional appointment times. So uh, right now there is no uh, date and time here selected based on the settings that you have set up on this account. You can also open up them to be able to schedule their own work, which I'll show you how. So they click on create work order and this is what has been sent. So now you'll, when you log into your account, you will see on Alex, if I click here on Alex and go to sales, you will see that they need an estimate on new sewer line. So uh, it's unscheduled because he didn't schedule it. Now if you wanted to actually allow them to schedule their own work, you can click on the link here to manage it. And you will see here allow users to select schedule time. If I click on that checkbox, click update. And now if I go back to the self-service portal, and I click on schedule new work, you're going to see now that they actually can assign a date and time of when they'd like to be out there. They can also check here if they are flexible with a schedule and which if that's the case then uh, you will see that it's not been scheduled. So they can also upload attachments uh, to actually if they have an approved purchase order number perhaps uh, or pictures Anything they want to attach to this record, they can uh, upload and attach here. Anyway, I hope that's been helpful for you. This is our self-service portal.